So you couldn't get a picture of my man's? No. I don't like this corporation. Already. Yo, what is up? Welcome to Welcome to Films with Tron. I'm here with my guest, Big Belly Casanova. Big or Lionel. Lionel, okay. One of the two. <laughs> two names, all right. Um, we're here and uh, we're going to talk about some movies that we like, movies that you like, um, movies that you've probably never heard about, stuff we could put you on to. Yeah. So uh, before we hop right into it, what are your top three movies, Lionel? Uh, Big Belly Cast. Um... Devil Wears Prada, mm -hmm. for sure. Great. Uh, Goodfellas. <sighs> Goodfellas is really good. It's really good. Classy. We classy, talked about classy. it before we started filming, and yeah. I think uh, I definitely gotta. I love that. Movie. Gotta put that in there. I mean, I guess paid in full. Really? Ah, uh, yeah. That is a good. That's probably the, the best hood movie. It's a hood I'm classic. Say. I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna probably say it's better than a lot of the movies, bro. All of the movies we grew up with, I probably, I think Paid in Full is probably the best. Um, I promise on this episode, I'm not gonna talk about Michael B. Jordan. Fam, I hate Michael B. Jordan. Great. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan, not here, right? Why are we talking about Michael B. Jordan? I'm sorry. Anyway, we're actually here <laughs> to talk about something much more important, and that is The Irishman Netflix just dropped. It's over. They're all gone. Frank, it's time. It's time you say what happened. <sighs> Frank, I want you to meet my cousin, Russell Buffalino. Better watch. There's a lot of tough guys around here. Did he tell you? You're not afraid of tough guys, are you? Yeah. I didn't think so. Uh-huh. From it our boy. It was amazing. It was amazing. Our boy Martin Scorsese. Yeah. Yes. I love Martin. I love a good Martin flick. How did you feel about it? The... The Irishman? The Irishman, yeah. I felt like overall it was probably it was definitely top two movies that dropped this year, twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. Definitely top two. Definitely top two. Definitely top two. I mean Mine my, my one <clears throat> is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm sorry. Once oh, I, you wanna know what's crazy? I didn't even see that. You have to see I didn't it. even see it. It's really I'll give you a link. Oh, so you asked me how did I feel about the movie? My fault. Yeah. Uh it was it was it was good. Mm -hmm. It was a really good movie. I thought like it was kind of long. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't long. It was just like it was epic. It though. was a slow start. You had. To, mm. It was a slow start, but I mean, I was I was fine with it. I had. I had. I feel like by the middle. I feel like by the middle, you you kind of you kind of understand why though, because as it got on, I was like, okay, I understand why it started out that way. Why they have it in this in the this, order. This order. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the way you should tell this story, if you was if you was like in a campfire, the way you should tell this story is kind of out of order. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, this happened. And then, oh wait, but no, no, no. But then this happened. This, I get it. I get it. I definitely. I'm thinking about something too right now, just off the bat. I'm just thinking about how the um the 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 movie really is to me like a one big conversation amongst all of them. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it kind of to me. To me, this is to me. This is this is the picture I paint with it. It was a it's it's a giant it's a giant um uh Italian Italian wedding basically. Okay. And right. now this is we're seeing a series of events yeah, that's yeah, happening yeah, in this way in a way. Not this is not saying it was a particular way. Of course, it wasn't. Yeah, but I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what the movie, the pace of the movie is. Right. You know what I mean? And these houses. I paint houses. I was like, "Oh snap, Frank!" Well, and I didn't know online. That's the that's the uh, alternate title. It's it's known other places. It's not known. It's the house. As the house. I, I heard. I heard you paint houses in uh, other countries. I think. Uh, in other that's places. Kind of yeah, that's, that's kind of yeah, They don't call it the Irishman. How do you feel about it? Ah uh, man, like I said, like I agree with you. It's it's amazing. Uh, I have. I do have some. I have some high praises. I have some. Um, what I want to get into first is uh, Martin. Oh wait, you don't got any slander for this movie. I have slander. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, talk um, that talk. I like so, that. So, like Martin Scorsese, uh, is it, he feels too he feels too comfortable. Like he's done this before. Yeah, you're gonna make a good mob mafia movie. It's it's not 
I, for me, growing up on Martin Scorsese, I want to see him do something totally different. Well, be, and I want him to handle that totally different thing the way he would handle this movie. If you can understand what I'm saying, anyone can understand what I'm saying. Yeah, no, that's a little difficult. Yeah, to try to. But I get. I think I get what you're saying. I think um, you wanted something a little different, but in a Martin Scorsese style. Right. You really got all Martin Scorsese yeah. with this I've, movie. Yeah. I've because because Irishman was good. Don't get me wrong. It was it, it was, was, it was good. Really good. It was a good movie. But really I've seen movie. this before. If I'm really talking about it, I've seen this before. Yeah, Goodfellas, but I mean, Casino. Well, I mean, you're but it's a great movie, though. I'm not saying that it's not a great movie. You're naming a mob movie. Yeah, and it's basically, but it's how by the, the mob by the, was. You no, know, the mob actually moves like a mob. The politics. Mm. Come on, we all know that's a mob. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a conspiracy <laughs> theorist, but just the way you gotta go to certain people for votes, whatever. Like, yeah. you know, politics are politics, but and then you got the union, which. Ultimately, moved as a mob. So I, I think, uh, I think it's I'm a mob movie. The, I it's think I'm talking in a directing, a direct, a directing uh, standpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, elaborate, elaborate. Like the way, the way the 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 setup is. Okay. Directing wise, the way the way the 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 the, the, the performances move, the camera moves. Yeah. All all those aspects is Martin Scorsese aspects, but it's like I've seen, I've I know Martin Scorsese, I know. How he does a movie, how it's gonna look, the tone. I, I know a Martin Scorsese. I can pinpoint a Martin Scorsese movie. If I was yeah. an alien, I could. I heard about him. I seen one movie. I could pinpoint it. Yeah, pinpoint yeah, a Martin yeah, Scorsese yeah. movie. So what I'm saying is, I've seen that that same type of that same type of pacing in the movie. The way it's, the way it's going, the way the story is yeah. moving. You know what I mean? I've seen that before. I want that just differently. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't oh, want it in a mob form because yeah. he's made those. My movies, which he's got, he's are got great, it. and this is great, but yeah, that's just that's just me. You got a good friend here. You don't know how good a friend you got. Russell, he took a shine to me right away. After a while, he started giving me little things to do. Cinematically, it was it was it was a it was a it was a, it was a treat. It was it was amazing. It was gorgeous. The pace, the, the the dialogue. Oh my goodness, the dialogue. The way, the way, the way Robert, the way Robert De Niro says his lines. I really look at him, yeah. and it's just like, like you're a natural, and it's so oh, yeah. yo, it's so beautiful to watch. It's Bobby D. It's so, like that man is so that man beautiful is, to watch, man. He can cook. And then oh, he was cooking. He How was could I cooking. forget about Pacino? Pacino brought back that scar, that scarred face. That Scarface, um, that Scarface ambition, that Scarface anger, that that rage, the passion he brought. I saw Scarface when that did you that scene where he's yelling, see where he was calling his his team in Memphis. Yeah, and uh, Robert De Niro walked out and was like, "You're not disrespecting me." Yeah, yeah. 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 That I, was I, that I, was yeah, Scarface. I, I saw Scarface when I seen him. You know, when I seen Al Pacino do Jimmy Hoffa, I was like. Okay, I, I like that. I like, right. I like how he did it. He did pretty good. You didn't see what I see, what I've been through. A friend of ours is having a little trouble. A friend at the top. Hi, you Frank. This is Jimmy Hoffa. Glad to meet you. Big business and the government is on the attack. You want to be a part of this fight? A part of this history? Whatever you need me to do, I'm available. Favorite scene? Favorite scene from the movie? Yeah. I like the hits. I like I like the hits that was put out. Hits were yeah, they were, were like, like yeah. I yo like, yo, man, I have yo, never seen like, that in the Marvel Scorsese movie. Yo, like when I was looking at, it, I'm like, fam, that, that was hot. Yeah, it was good, but then I'm like, this man is shooting from very close range. Yeah. My favorite scene of all of them was when he was in the cafe when he had the Russian and shoot oh, the guy with when he was yeah, with his family. That was crazy. My that whole crazy. I like. What led up to it when he was picking what type of gun to use? Yeah, you want a gun that's gonna be loud so people right. can run. They won't see you. You don't right. want this gun because it's it's not gonna put him down. You want a gun right. that's going. You know what I mean? Like I right. like that whole like I like that, and then I like you know the car going off. I like that whole entire scene. That was good. Now the guy that played the wise guy, he's a comedian. His name is Sebastian Maniscalco. The he, guy that, with the shorts, short, the one that kept wearing the. Who was that? No, uh, not him. That was um pro. Jimmy Pro. Yeah. So remember the guy that got shot in a cafe? Yeah. The guy that we guy. Just talking about. Oh, he's he's a, comedian. a comedian in real life. Oh. His name is Sebastian Maniscalco. 
Wow. He ate. Like he, he ate. really he killed that. He ate. His part, he did. He might have been one of my favorite yeah. ca like characters that's not a meme. Mm -hmm. Cause he was like you know, like when he was walking back from his, he was a big shot. Like yeah. you know, he, he was walking back. He seen, he seen the, uh, the pendant on uh, Joe, Joe Pesci, Joe Pesci. Mm -hmm. When he seen the pendant, he was like, "What are you, what are you doing with that? Yeah, what are you doing with that? Yeah, why you still believe in that? that? Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 you still believe in that? Like, and it was just like, it was like, fam. I was like, scared. I was scared. I was ready to see. I was ready to see Joe job. come out. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. like, what am I a clown to you? I'm a music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's that's <laughs> another music. that's another thing that I liked about yeah, this. He was that cool. Joe Pesci was like he was very. Cool. He had a whole was chilling man. Wall up. You want to know why? Because, because he was, knew he had Frank. Yeah, yeah. He, had he Frank. knew he had Frank. Frank, so. Frank did everything. My favorite scene was when they were all sitting around eating ice cream, and I love my favorite character. By the way, is uh, Jimmy Hoffa. I love Pacino yeah, as yeah, Hoffa yeah, was yeah. like yo, yo. He didn't care. Yeah, he didn't care. He didn't. Yeah, yeah. He didn't. He didn't give a crap about what he nobody said. He why believed you, in what he believed. Why are you late? Traffic. You fifteen Traffic. minutes late? I, I didn't want to. You wear shorts. Did you want? He's like, oh, Jimmy, chill. Whoa, relax. Right. So I was like, all right. You're asking him. You're asking him for yeah, something, yeah, Jimmy. Are you yeah, out of your yeah, mind? Yeah, 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 like I don't care. He comes wearing shorts. I'm but he was saying like, um, yeah. So you eating ice cream, and that's when he found out um, um, JFK died, and they all went to the TV, and Jimmy off. He was Al Pacino was looking at it. And was looking at it, was just looking at it, and then went right back to his ice cream. And everybody else was still looking at him. He was he just kept eating his ice cream. Yeah. And the broadcast is just playing. That was nobody is talking. Yeah. Nobody is talking. The broadcast is just playing. Everybody's watching. He's just eating his ice cream. I don't know. I just, thought, I just thought that was just like Yeah. yeah that I was just thought movie. that was just like I won. Yeah. I won. And then and then my favorite line, um, now, now Bobby Kennedy is just a regular lawyer. Yeah, I yeah, said that was boom. Yeah, that was yeah. a boom. He's like, he that was, was like, a shot. You know, they were like, how do you feel about this? And he's just like, well, you know. And I, that was really just good. An, he's just a regular that lawyer. When the when the flags were flying half stand, and, yeah, 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 yeah. and he's like, no, 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 right. no, 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 not having that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I was like, all right, yeah, this is good. The locations were 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 classically beautiful, but they seemed CG to me. I go yeah. You ain't like it's, how glossy it looked? Yeah, I didn't like it. It looked glossy. a lot. Like it was a lot of glossy. I'm like, I'm, yo. I'm used nah. to gritty. Yeah. Scorsese, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I still got gritty, but it didn't look gritty. Like I'm low key wanna go back and wanna change my top three. Mm -hmm. I wanna take out uh paid in full. I know you gave paid in full its praise, but I think I'm gonna put a a Bronx style right in there. I never and seen the reason Bronx why style. I'm saying a Bronx style is because it gave you a gritty mm -hmm. Old school Gachi. mob. No, a Bronx Tale was um, Brooklyn's finest. That's something. New. Yeah, a Bronx Tale was um, Robert De Niro. It was basically about a white, a, 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 an Italian kid that falls in love with a black girl, and they deal with the race relations. It's really, really good, but it's in the nineteen fifties. Mm. So as I mean, it's popular. It was, it was a good. It's a good movie. Check it out, a Bronx Tale. Check it out. I don't know. Like Robert De Niro's really, really he's, old, he's good at so it's kind of hard. But it's it's hard to make him look young. Do you right? know? Do you know the um, the special effects on this? There, there was there was a significant special effects on this that this movie was it, it used it to its full capacity. Marvel uh, did it previously. They did a de aging. So uh, what they did was a mixture of motion capture. I don't know if you know what motion capture is. Ah, uh, inform me. Um. Basically, that's how video games, like the cutscenes, are made, oh, right. and also uh, Polar Express. I don't know if you oh, see that movie. Shoot. That's how that movie. They, Yo, so it's real people. That was... So they wear these suits with the dots on them. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, but okay. but on the that? Irishman, they just put the dots on their face. Oh, now yeah. the technology is up there. It's just, a little different. Yeah, but just put yeah. That. Um, they did a Captain Marvel. We used it for Samuel oh, Jackson's oh, character. That's good. So um, yeah, oh, that's so that's what they did for they, they did for Pacino, uh, Joe Pesci, and Robert I'm pretty Nero. sure all of the old old yeah. timers had to had to rock out like that. Ray Romano, yo, what? Ray Romano, fam. Ray Romano. I haven't Ray seen Ray A. I didn't uh, see them. I didn't. I didn't see anything about the movie. I've seen stuff about the movie first. Yeah, but. I had seen like one trailer and then I didn't see it again. Then I saw it. That's the out. best though. That's the best thing. Then I saw it was out and then you told me to see. You really told me to see it. How yeah. do you feel about movies that 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 of this caliber, high caliber movies, being dropped on Netflix? Because we we know you know Netflix doesn't always give us. This is a great 
question because I wanted to talk about this on Twitter, but I'm glad I have this platform now for me to be able to do this. I there I I have a love hate relationship with that as as a di- speaking as a director though. Yeah, the, it's the thing about like I guess I can speak for the bigs too. It's like we we have this. We have this 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 longing for you to specifically see it a certain way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um and the streaming service thing is is just convenient. Yeah. It's it's very profitable. Don't get me wrong, it's very profitable. It's it's, it's giving people um better opportunities job wise because you know it's, they're sprouting out shows oh, sure. and stuff yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. But it's the the, the, the theater going experience is why we you know, we as directors got into this business. You know I mean? Okay. I like the theater. Talk your talk. I like, I like, I like going, I used to love growing up. I used to love going to the movies. That's the best way to see movies is in a the theater. I like seeing it by myself even because I'm with strangers. But they gave people, and we can experience together. It's my, my bottom line is an experience. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now Netflix, yeah, it's giving experiences on Netflix. It's on every home, it's on every device. Yeah, cool. But it's nothing like, it's nothing screen, like that yeah. big screen, yeah. like 30, Popcorn, 30, 30 speakers. Slushy. Yeah, you with yeah, people you don't it. know, you experience with nah, them. Yeah, you see it. what's funny to them with, you know, yeah, yeah, crying. Yeah, no, I get it. You, know, you get the crying, actual yeah. overall crowd reaction to so, the movie. To me, it's good. What's the movie that you went to where the, where the theater was like reacting to everything? Thing. Like what movie oh, two movies. See? Can I say two movies? Go ahead. No, go ahead. It was Django. It was Django Unchained, and it was This Is the End. Oh yeah, Django yeah. Unchained. Yeah, yeah. Was the Christmas. Movie, I the saw movie, movie Christmas. For this is the I end. saw it at Pearl Theater. I saw it at the Pearl Theater. Yeah, yeah I saw yeah. it with nothing but white people. Coincidentally, right? Literally, was nothing but white people in that joint. Yeah. And they was quiet David, as David. My, I was oh, in that joint like yeah. <laughs> I was like yeah. I was like yes. I was laughing. I was having oh, a good time. White people was in that joint shook. This is the end. Think about this is the end is that um. That's the comedy, right? Yeah, that's what Seth Rogen and all the, yeah, the world was yeah, in. Yeah. This is the end to me growing up. So I grew up. I grew up. I grew up Christian. I grew up Christian faith. Okay. So the movie, the the way the movie talks about like the apocalypse and the Bible and stuff like that, they were actually saying some real stuff. So I was in the movie. Everybody, everybody in the theater is laughing. Everybody in the theater laughing. I'm like, Shook. yo, this talk. <laughs> they really, they really talking some stuff right now. Y'all laughing, yeah, but they yeah, yeah. Seth Rogen really he he on his yeah, he yeah, on yeah. his type time. He on that. Listen, y'all, yeah. y'all better get with it because that man is smart. That movie was like low key, like yeah, nah, Seth is a genius. It was it was ahead of his time. I feel like I can't wait till Seth like he's he's just getting started. So he's, his he's next movie. Roll into it. Oh, y'all gonna love his next movie. I ain't on. Um, no. He's um so he's playing his grand his great 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 grandfather who gets brined in like the nineteen twenties. He gets brined in pickle in pickle vet, and he gets like resurrected now in this in this day and age. So he's playing his he's playing he's playing. He's playing his great great grandfather and him and the great great grandfather's grandson. So he's oh. playing dual roles. Oh, how tough is that? I think that's, that's got to be tough. It's easier now for them, but it's, it's tough. You want to know what what movie turned people out? <clears throat> what that I went to? Yeah. Get out. It turned people off. No, like I mean, when they was they was going wild in the movie. Oh yeah, yeah like yeah. that was one movie where yeah. people was reacting to every little thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like every little thing. Like if he, oh, don't trust that. But I mean, it depends on where you go. Yeah. If you're from the Philadelphia area, I was up at 69th Street, right. so you know that. Yeah, yeah. You know they was they was they was getting it in, but that's a, it's that's a Philly thing. Street? That's a Philly thing. But if you know, yeah. you know. Like if you know, you know. But but yeah, uh, I think we you know we kind of went off off the rails there a little bit, but we no, were basically like, talking about talk. yeah no we was we were basically talking about why this is such a big deal is that you got this big primetime movie on a small platform. Yeah. I mean, well, Netflix is not small, but it's not it's a movie theater. It's not Netflix a is on its way. I had projections of Netflix failing by this year. Word. Because of Disney? Nope. Because of, because of, um, um, debt. Uh, I thought their end was going to be debt bankruptcy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Netflix yeah. has proved Netflix... Now, here's my here's my new theory for the next five years. Netflix is going to be part of the part of the big six major studios. 
don't it's going to be in line with Disney. Trust me. Trust me. They just acquired so? Nickelodeon. They're well on their way to a lot more. They okay. couldn't get Disney. They tried. But right. Disney is a whole other thing. You're not going to get Disney. Disney's going to get you. <laughs> That's just the yeah, way yeah. of life. That's the I'm way of life. That's I'm what we have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disney's not going to get Warner Brothers, but listen. whoever else you are, Disney's going to get you. Trust me. So you think it's just a foot race between Warner Brothers and Disney? And yeah. Warner Brothers is. Warner Netflix. Brothers is. Yeah. No, Netflix. Netflix is going to get bought by one of them. Oh. Disney is probably going to get Netflix. Okay. All right, we I can see, see that in ten years. We gonna see. We gonna see. How do you feel? How do you feel about how this this was written? Irishman. Yeah. You don't sugarcoat it. Okay. Yeah. I don't sugarcoat the. It wasn't ten already. out of ten, but but it was a ten out of ten. It was very great. Right. It was a ten out. It was a ten out of ten. Okay. But but this this what but, it, this but better. What than I don't know. Maybe maybe it was it was a great script, but it wasn't all all that great. As to what I'm saying it to be, it could have been Robert. Okay, how? Where's the confusion? The confusion is that a ten out of ten is okay. Yes, yeah, perfect. perfect. Okay, so give me, give me another. Perfect. I'm saying, I'm right, saying, right, 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 with, these quick, guys, quick, with these guys, with these guys, give me a did, perfect script. Just if that you could think off the top of your head, real quick. Give me, a, what do you think is a perfect script? Godfather. No. Okay. This what I'm talking, script. what I'm talking about oh, is it was, a, it was probably a good script. But what I'm saying is. These guys could have, they're so good at what they do. They was probably just riffing. I felt like it, it could have been their performance. It could have been a great script. But at, the, but at the end of the day, yes, it was still a great script. Is what I'm saying. You were one confusing man, but okay, I'm going to go with it. <laughs> it's good, it was good. It was good did writing. You, it was, um, you no, know, the casting. Oh my God. Couldn't mm. ask for a better casting. You literally could not. And you, you said something on Twitter where you was like, Action Bronson had the greatest cameo, cameo of all time. I don't think so. Of, of, of all time. I think he's just saying Of all things. time. Of all cameos as to a rapper, have. As a rapper. As a yeah, rapper. that's insane. As a rapper. For all cameos. Yeah, as a rapper. I'm sorry. I'm Harlem sorry. Nights is a really good movie. God, Nights. To go back to, you know, why I said Harlem Nights is because we're coming to the end of an era where mob movies are, are a thing. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? I don't know how many more mob the movies thing? can we can we squeeze out of like how many is becoming like a the, thing? I think this genre is dying. I'm not, it's I'm a not, genre though. I get it, but I think it's a I think I think the genre is is bleeding out. You think so? What was the last mob movie that we had before this one? The Kitchen was okay. Not all that. The last the you last have you seen have you seen The Kitchen? No, that came out this year. It. I think um I think the last movie that made me like like while out, that was a that was in the genre of mob was um oh American Gangster American Gangster was the last that was a great movie that was the last mob movie that I seen where I was like you yeah I need that you know what I mean like I I might I, I need this I can't even remember the name of it American Gangster American Gangster was so good but I still you want to talk about a perfect script like you know what I mean like what did I don't you think know, about the directing um. I feel like the directing was good. I like Scorsese. I think, I think, um... How do you feel about his recent comments about Marvel? What did he say? So, him and there's a bunch of other directors, you know, they're, they're, they're saying how uh, the Marvel movies aren't like real cinema and they're, they're diminishing the... I the, agree. The, really? Yeah. Uh, I think... I think it's a lot easier. I'm not even feeling that way as a, lot, a fan either. I think it's a lot easier for you to just hop in a, in a pair of leotards and be Superman. You know what I mean? Like, how many people could actually be Frank? Chiri? I feel like it's more than that. How many people? No, I don't think. I don't think so. I think. I think when you when you're literally, I'm thinking they're coming from a place of jealousy. No, but because when you those got movies make like, a billion dollars. When, yeah, no, that's fine. But when you got somebody like Stan Lee that's been just sitting in his basement for I don't know how many years. Writing, writing movies for you? The movie has already been written. All you got to do is just literally let somebody stand in front of a camera and act like Batman. I and think, that's not, I think it's, that's I think not it's even more effort. Hard. It's I don't think, way I don't more think so. I, don't, I really it's don't. way more effort. Going I mean, you got you got funky camera angles, and then you got, you got special you know, effects. You got special that, effects, of course, and then you got people that could, but that's, they could make a role better than others. But for that's the most another part, thing about the Irishman, too. That's what also makes it great, the special effects. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that, and I'm not saying that saves or anything. It could, of course, it could, it would have been just as great without it. But special effects was beautiful. That's like the so way, good. the no, way they, they surprised you, like whoa, the way that you, the you, you would turn around, the way no, the way that you would turn around <laughs> and the car would just explode. Oh, you know what I mean? Like out of nowhere, like that was that was the the best part. How about it. the scene where she's turning the key and she's scared and she's that scared it's going to blow, blow up, up. and Yo. then it cuts to. When she turns it, it cuts to a different scene of a oh, car, car going, going up. up. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I kind of yeah. jump, ain't gonna lie. Kind of jump, kind of <laughs> a little whoa. Nah, no, I think it was good. She made it intense. She was like, "Yo, please don't blow up." Please. And then when the, when the car finally started, I just got off of work. But that's good. But that's good directing, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that you yeah. can't get that from Gardens of the Galaxy. Like you can't get you can't, that. You're right. You can't yeah. get that from. You might be able to get it from Batman, me, but you can't get that from. You know, a movie where you got to not gonna get that. You got to do, huh? You're not gonna get it from Batman. You only gonna get that from the recent Batman because of the director. Yeah, because but I mean, he, I, I get what he's saying though. Like I okay. get what he's saying. Like yo, like some of these things that we're doing here, some of these these moves that we're making, the way that we're writing these things, like you can't you can't get this from you can't get this from a dude that's supposed to be the hawk. Like he just yeah. he just he walking around wearing broad shoulders. Like I don't know. I'm not I'm not trying to play it. I'm just saying. It's, you can't get that from that. Like I get it. I'm. I agree with him. I'm. A, I'm gonna just say that I agree with him. Okay. So before we wrap it up, what's the overall Seriously. overall rating? Overall rating for the Irishman. Out of ten. Out I think 10. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna give it a. Yo, this is gonna be the last time we're gonna see Robert De Niro and Al Pacino together in a mob movie. This, Along with Joe. We're Pesci. surprised we got Joe Pesci because they Along asked him for Pesci. years to do this movie. And he was in retirement. Along with Joe, exactly. So we're lucky to get Joe Pesci in this, right? 9.7. 9 9.7. 9 I give it 9.5. What? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 9.5 meter to half. All right, we're going we're gonna to meet me halfway, 9.6. Yeah. 9.6. 9.6 is the overall rating of The Irishman. The Irishman. Go watch yeah. it. It's on Netflix. Go watch The Irishman on Netflix. This has been a great time on Films with Tron. Thank you, Lionel, Big Brother Cats, whatever they call you. Whatever they call um, you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate this. this I is, appreciate I like you. this. I like being number one. Okay. Anybody after me? I mean, you could watch the episode, sure. Give it a view. Okay. Not going to be like this. All right. Uh -huh. And be sure to catch your podcast. Oh, yeah. This is a good plug. Yes. Yeah, I got a podcast. Aggressively Passive Podcast. Um, Please do. I listen to it on my way to work. Yeah, every morning. Thank you. Thank Great you show. for supporting. Show. You could you could you could catch that. Follow us on Instagram at one passive pod. Um it doesn't I'm not gonna give you my personal Instagram. You gotta go find that. All right, and be sure to catch <laughs> me. <laughs> me and my crew, the voices underscore studios. Shout out to y'all. Everywhere. Alright guys. He didn't know you supposed to <laughs> have a good <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I Have a good way. weekend. We'll kick it later. That's my Is little it? outro. That's your outro? Yeah. We'll kick it later. I don't like it. Can it's you add that? Just mess up to it. I don't like that. Can someone stop? Can we, we'll kick it later? Yeah, we'll kick it later. Cheap.